This week, we asked you to vote, this time for Indy's Best Brewery. The votes have been counted. Here's one more look at the finalists. Cedar Creek Brewing Company in Martinsville. Guggenman House on Indy's near northwest side. Metazoa Brewing in downtown Indy. And Moontown Brewing Company in Whitestown. And congratulations goes to... Guggenman House, they win the title of Indy's Best Brewery, voted by you, the Fox 59 fan. Sherman live there to explain why their win is so fitting for the month of May. Sherman? It is. Good morning. You know, because we're sitting inside right now what used to be Boyle Racing Headquarters. It's actually still, we still refer to Boyle Racing Headquarters. It's right here where Guggenman House does all the magic. There's this really cool hall behind us, as you see. There's actually uh, a Boyle Racing room that we're going to see uh, coming up later this morning. But all this happens is a great thing. It's out, they have outdoor seating, it's for kids, it's all that. And a congratulations to you, Courtney. Thank you. Uh, Cor Courtney Guggenberger, she and her husband. And her sister mm -hmm. and her brother in law, -in -law. are all yeah. involved. It's a family affair. So, congratulations on being voted Indy's Best Brewery. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're excited. Pretty cool, right? It is very cool. Yes. And such a short time for you guys. I mean, what, three years? Mm -hmm. uh, it started with the small space yep. uh, that was still here, yeah. the little house. In the little house, the yes. House. Yeah. Home brewing first, and, Home then, the, brewing and then, first, the then the house. Yeah. Uh, and now this. Uh, where we are in the headquarters, which was uh, last year, which mm -hmm. you opened this. Mm -hmm. But it is a family thing. It's a family affair. We've got some actual some still pictures from inside. But give us a little history, a little background as we talk about how wonderful it is that yeah. you voted Indy's Best. Oh, well, thank you. Um, so background, my husband and I lived in Germany for a year. My sister and her husband lived in Denver. We came, we both fell in love with beer um, out in our different elements. Um, we came back and started home brewing in Broad Ripple for several years and then opened on this property in June of 2019 over in the house where we brewed in a tiny little basement on I tiny re equipment. I remember. Yeah, we you, were, were you were down there. You helped brew one day. Yeah, I did. Um, and that was two years over there and then we worked on this space for a while and were able to open it last June. Yeah, and I remember talking to you guys at, at, at that time that you wanted to really expand it. This is a great property and plans to do what you mm -hmm. have here now inside the Boyle Racing Headquarters. So you do all the production here. We do, yes. And also, this is where the party goes down <laughs> because we have the tap room. You have a, a, a hall as well, like a little fest yeah. hall. Yeah, we call it the fest hall. It's for private events, and then we have extra seating in there on a busy day as well. Okay, let's get to yeah. the beer because that's yeah, what Eric... Yeah, the beer. <laughs> hey, so her husband, Derek, is over here. He's pouring something for What is he going to pour? I don't know what He's he pouring is. our Guggenweizen. It's our Hefeweizen. That was one of the beers that inspired us to actually open this place. It's a traditional German wheat beer. Okay, you said the German connection, but the sure. name is interesting too yeah. because it's a combination of Guggenberger, which is our last name, and then my sister and her husband's last name, Gorman. You combine them together, you get Guggenman. Guggenman, he's going to bring that over. Go ahead, yeah, bring, bring that over. Let's talk about the flights. That sure. You have so this you. is the Hefe. That's what he just poured as well. Okay. Um, and then we have our Riverside, which is our New England IPA. It's named for the neighborhood that we're in. Riverside and then we, neighborhood, right where the park. Yeah. We poured Boat Day, which we released yesterday. It's part of our new Indiana Grown series. It features some local That's malt new? and hops. Yep, that was from yesterday. Okay, um, and, and this one? This one is our Raspberry Lemon Into the Wild Sour. So Into the Wild. Into the Wild. It's our sour series. It ha uh, has different fruits, um, has some vanilla in there, and it's. We, if people come in and they're like, mm, not sure what beer I might like, we a lot of times offer the sour because it's a bright, fruity and then option. Then I get wild. And then well, I get wild <laughs> when I drink that. <laughs> not, if, not if you have what you're supposed to okay, have. Okay, I'll, 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 no, I won't, I won't, I won't, I promise. Anyway, you got all kinds of cool, you got gear, you got t-shirts and hats, mm -hmm. you got growlers, I yeah. love it all. I'm going to just taste the Yeah, taste now. that. We have about 15 to 20 beers on tap. We put out probably one to two new beers Here, every week. You go week. wild. Are you oh, I'll, I'll go wild. Okay. Sure, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations. Thank you Voted so much. Indy's Best <laughs> Brewery. It's Goodman House here. Actually, 16th and Gent Street. Gent, is it Gent, Gent Avenue? Avenue? Yeah. Yeah, Gent Avenue. If you're familiar, right near Riverside Park, near Northwest Side. <laughs> wow. That's got a nice... Mmm. Citrusy, refreshing, refreshing. Yeah. Citrusy, yeah. It's Very an American nice. IPA. All right. That's so good. There you go. <laughs> Goodman House. Now you know. If you haven't been, mm -hmm. check it out.